continue to rise. Medical officials are reminding their patients of the risks that can come with the summer sun. The many warmer weather means grilling out, swimming, just spending as much time as possible outdoors. But it also means more sunlight and more sun exposure. KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall joins us in studio and you spoke up with a dermatologist today, Libby, about all those reminders that we really should keep in mind this time mm -hmm. of year but often forget about. Yeah, no matter the season, it's always good to get a reminder of what you can do to protect yourself and protect others depending on what the weather outside is doing. Sun safety is especially important this year as the CDC lists skin cancer as the most prevalent form of cancer in the United States. I spoke with a dermatologist from the University of Iowa who explained the reality of a summer glow. So there really is no such thing as a safe tan. While many are very familiar with the internal effects of sun exposure, the debate on the external impacts continues to grow. Getting a tan damages your skin at the cellular level, causes premature aging, fine lines and wrinkling, and splotchiness as you get older. Dr. Van Beek sees plenty of patients who are trying to do what they can to prevent sun damage. In her time as a dermatologist, the advice on that front has not changed. Wear at least 30 SPF sunscreen and reapply every two hours while in the sun. I think people are just starting to catch on to, to uh, listen to how they can protect their skin. And of course, you know, the beauty industry is a large industry. People trying to buy creams to reverse the aging that they've gotten from the sun. An ultraviolet index of three or higher is the general cutoff. According to the CDC, that skin protection is necessary. That means staying in the shade, wearing a wide brim hat and using a broad spectrum SPF. With skin cancer being the most prevalent form of cancer in the U.S., more than 20,000 cases a year could be prevented with these protocols. They either get often a sunburn, which is a direct damage of the skin, but even tanning damages the skin. In order to get a tan, you have to damage the skin, and, uh, and your skin is trying to protect itself from getting more sun by creating a tan. Other reminders, Dr. Van Beek's Beek gives her patients, if anything on your skin looks particularly unusual, like maybe a mole or skin lesion, might not mean it's melanoma or skin cancer, but it is a good reason to see a doctor. Live in studio, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News. Thank you.